Hello everyone, did you know that your smartphones have some hidden apps that you don't even see in the standard settings? That is, when you go to your apps, for example, and click all apps, there you have it. And there are also a bunch of different system apps that heavily load your RAM, your processor, and constantly try to download tons of ads to your smartphone. Of course, this also affects your data transfer, especially if you don't have unlimited internet, as you're wasting your megabytes. Plus, I think many people don't like watching ads because they're distracting. So, I'm going to show you three apps, three parasites, that are found on almost every smartphone, and they're very well hidden. After tweaking these settings, your smartphone will truly perform several times better. This will also have a positive impact on both the speed and battery life of your phone. So, watch the video carefully until the end, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends. So, look, to get to the settings we need and all these apps, we need to use the Google Play Store, where you download games and apps. Click on it, and then on the right side, find your avatar, that is, your account. Click it. Then scroll to the very bottom and look for a question mark. This is usually where you'll find help for specific topics. Click on this question mark. And now we'll be taken to this menu. These are all the text boxes, actually, they can be different on every smartphone, so I recommend using the help search. Click here. Type the word, delete, here. You'll find a line called, how to delete an app from an Android device. Don't worry. We won't be deleting anything, but this is where the settings we need are. Then scroll down a little and find this blue line called, Go to App Settings. If you're using a dark theme, you might not be able to access this and will have to temporarily switch to a light theme. So, keep in mind that you might get an error message if you're using the dark theme. Click on this line. Now you'll be taken to a menu of all the apps on your smartphone. Next, click the three dots at the bottom and select, Show System Processes. The only downside to this menu is that there's no app search. There's no search bar, so if you type in an app, it'll be found right away. But there are other settings here that aren't there. For example, if you access them through the regular default settings I showed you earlier, these settings aren't there. I'm showing you the easiest way, the simplest way, but at the end of the video, I'll also mention another option if you want to get rid of all this as much as possible. So, look, scroll carefully, and find the app with the star icon. Look, this is the app. For some people, it's running all the time, while for others, it's either on or off. Check it yourself, because I, for example, have it stopped but not disabled. This app injects ads into your browsers. So, when you use any browser, searching for information, you might have noticed pop-up windows with ads. This app is the one that injects these ads the most. First, you need to go to the memory section and, if there's anything that needs clearing, clear the cache and clear all memory. I don't need to clear it at the moment. Next. Be sure to go to battery and performance. Here, you might have either unlimited, meaning constant battery drain and constant internet usage, even though you're not even using the app. It might have optimization enabled, but not all browsers have this, and these are very similar settings. You should, of course, set it to limited, meaning the maximum limit for now, so it doesn't run in the background. And, of course, after that, you'll just need to disable it. Go back and look for the next setting. The next app is called MSA. You can find it on Android like this. This app is what pushes ads to your smartphone, specifically to other apps or to some standard menu. This is actually a very broad topic. Yes, it doesn't manage all advertising, but it's more of a facilitator. That is, it can monitor your entire phone's activity and, based on your preferences, send you different ads in absolutely all apps. Here, we need to perform exactly the same steps. Go to memory. If there's anything there, clear the cache and clear all memory. Go back and go to battery and performance. And by the way, I'd like to draw your attention to this, check it yourself. For example, I had it set to unlimited on all my smartphones. So, imagine how constant the battery drain is, and this app constantly downloads ads. So, set it to restricted, and force stop this app. If the disable button is still lit, you can disable it too. Use the back arrow, then use the back arrow again. Now look for another similar app that works in tandem. It's called My UI Dayan. Tap it. Basically, it performs all the same functions. It's just an add-on to the first app. It's also responsible for some of the other ads that are present on your phones. We need to go to the memory again and clear it if there's anything to clear. Tap, OK. Use the back arrow. Be sure to check your battery and performance. I already have it set to restricted, which is good but check yours because it's very rare for it to be limited. It's usually set to optimization. Select it, set it to restricted, use the back arrow, and, of course, stop this app. 
If the disable button is lit, then disable it too. That was the easiest way. Some users who are familiar with third-party apps like LBADB Control completely remove these three apps from their smartphones and are happy that, firstly, they have more RAM, their phone is less stressed, and their battery drains less. But if you're not using any apps or programs, what you just did is the bare minimum you can do to improve your phone's performance. I do this on every smartphone, and it works just fine. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends.